Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, Dyslexic Gamer, as we carry on our playthrough of Atom RPG, where in the last episode we had paid 3,500 cat, cats, ruples, what did I say, mm, uh, moving on, um, to come down into this bunker. It probably been a bit of a ripoff. Probably. Um, haven't found as much loot in here as I would have liked, but eh. we've got plenty of food. Plenty of food. Ah, oh, need to code. Damn you. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't want to. I'm not going to look up the code, so don't think that's. That is not right. So sadness, even even less loot for us to acquire. Now, he's got a pig in his room. Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious. Why does he have a pig in his room? Hmm. I'm gonna quick save because. Eh, you, no, no, you, I'm not a thief. I was not a thief. I was just trying to, you know, get some food. That's all. See, he... <laughs> so he doesn't care from. <sighs> oh well, you know, as long as he doesn't raise the alarm. I think glasses are actually worth a bit of money. And they don't weigh too much. Why not? Let's take the, the photo. God's sake. Another code. Ah. Not good enough. We want the loot. Uh, actually, I might as well take the water. Um, okay, so we've got some perfume for women. I wonder if you pay as a female character, if you can use that. Does the other one that we have say only for men? No, it doesn't. So it probably probably has doesn't have any effect. But anyway, oh well. Carrying on. Oh. Where's where's all the weaponry? You know. Where's all the good stuff? I mean, okay, yes. If if my memory does serve, and I think it serves right. Glasses are worth a little bit, so we'll make some. Root pledge back. Uh, is that just another machine that we can take apart? Uh, take a glass and try and drink. You place your glass under the tap and push the button. Nothing happens. Hmm. Leave it. We don't have enough in techno file. I I reckon I'd just break it. Uh, no, we can't have gone all the way round. This can't be it. Okay, we haven't been in here. think we've been in nothing shining so let's come in here and see what's in these lockers there you go you cannot stop me from entering I will have your goodies oh for... sadness more sadness I mean if we were more of a tinkerer all this Duct tape and stuff would probably be quite useful. Where we're not, it's... Ooh. Quick save! Is that a book I can pick up? No. Grab the glass, because why not? And let's see if he... No, he doesn't stop us. Can we open the door? That's no, locked, okay. Right then, we're gonna have to start talking to people, it seems. So we might as well talk with the guard here. 
Uh, security. The general is busy now. Okay. Can I open the door or? Oh, I can. Interesting. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I was hoping that we could get to the back of his room and raid his cupboards and then come back round, but never mind. A strong, thick looking man wearing cologne and dressed in a classic pre fitted pre-war, no hang on, perfectly fitted, pre-war suit, uh, uh, studies you carefully without saying a word. When he finally speaks, you are amazed by the depth and confidence of his voice. I have been notified of your presence here, comrade. It's high time we met and talked face to face. Let's put the formalities behind us. I am Security General of the Cabinet of the Chamber of Commerce. Gennady? 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 I don't know. Um, you, Lebot, ooh, are a man of mystery and un. Uh, uh, and an uncertain occupant. Hmm. Uh, but in the future, a potential valuable ally to our city. What do you say? This is all very odd. Um, I would like to ask you some questions. Am I correct that whether or not we become allies depends on me, my willingness to embark on some sort of mission? Smiles and nods, yes, yes, yes. Yes, the time when people gain status in exchange for promises and letters of recommendation are long gone. Today the only thing that matters are one's actions, and we the state's loyal servants have plenty to do. Take, for example, that disgusting circus that pitched up its tents on our lands. Dung dealers, kidnappers, thieves, drunks. Uh... I can't think of that word now. Delinquents, not delinquents, anyway. As Nico describes these tent dwellers, his nostrils flare and shape. Crease cuts down the middle of his forehead. Ah, uh, okay. Of course, they're not the biggest or even the second biggest threat around here. But every great... Purge must start somewhere. Would you kindly dispose of the... Tripe and their... Tasteless fans, to be clear. I meant physically destroy them, so they can't simply... Shift their... Filthy operation a couple of kilometers down the road. Uh, the re the ruminations rumination for this job is three thousand ruples in cash. My trust and respect will be an additional bonus. He wants me to kill the circus people. I was going to say freaks, but let's just not, let's not be cruel. They were rather kind to me in their own weird little way. Wow. Take out a whole circus. Are they really that much of a threat? Your words have no effect on the security general, except that his fist clenches at his side. 
you'd be surprised. There's no other way of dealing with it. So, we execute the kidnappers, we execute the kidnappers this week, and the dung dealers next week. What will we gain? I am asking you to alleviate our suffering by exterminating those three ring parasites with a swift and decisive blow. What could be more logical? Do I look like an enemy of all things humorous and fun? Why don't you send the guards if you're if they're breaking the law? City guards has its own responsibilities and besides I don't want to draw unnecessary attention to this situation. <sighs> I'm I haven't played as a bad character, so I'm not going to now. I can't go about I can't go about this without communicating credence. I'm certain I can convince them to leave peacefully. He frowns. In a worst case scenario, I suppose I would call that a satisfactory outcome, but I strongly prefer total annihilation. It's much cleaner and mm, better in many ways, so... I, um, can I not like if we can talk them into leaving because let's face it circuses have to move around kind of fine I agree security general nods makes a people with his fingers I don't know good I suggest you start the purge in the cockpit of the crashed plane. That's where you'll find Madame Vushkish. She runs the circus. She must be among the first victims, else she will attempt to coordinate her people's escape. Or worse, assemble a cohort cohort uh, a starwart defense. Um, and engage us in a stand-up fight. She's a gifted leader, <clears throat> according to my a uh, agent's intel. I'll keep that in mind. i ask you something. About this mission. No progress on it. Uh, no, let's change the subject. Can I ask you some questions? Well, of course. How else... Once your curiosity is satisfied, let us. Oh no, okay. I, I don't see the point. We've gone through his main plot line? I don't know. I'll probably try talking to them and seeing if I can get them to leave peacefully. I don't see why I would. I get it. Ah. Oh. No, I, I get it. Matey's an asshole. That's fine. I'm not. The idea of purging them for no reason. You know, he has a city. They have a circus. It's not really like if shit were to go down, th this guy could easily annihilate them. So I don't really see how he's this big threat. So, yeah. Wait till me whistle time again and let's see if we can talk to this bloke. Because we might as well find out as much as we can, kind of. I don't want to ask about the city and how's life going here and that stuff. Ugh. An aged man in an expensive jacket meets you with a warm, charming smile. 
He looks you in the eyes, eye and eyes, and stares in a slightly shaky voice. You're not an avenging solicitor, are you? True, I'm an adventurer and a traveller. Yes, seems so well. The old man raises his hands up to his knees and after gently after a gentle cough asks Can I ask why you came to me? I'm looking for a job, can you help me? Uh, I wanted to ask you fine, go ahead. Who are you? Alexander Sabilin? Yeah. Head of coal shipment and minor Ooh Diplomacy. Comrade Sabil, the head of coal the head of the coal plant says he's not getting enough fuel. From Paragon, yes, they they rarely send us fuel nowadays. They said it's because of bandit activity on the main road. It's pretty scary, but the problem with the shipment isn't going to go away just because you know the reason behind it. You're right, of course, but what am I supposed to do? Eliminate all criminals in the wasteland? Although, Bill thinks for a while, then looks at you with a sly expression. Maybe you could help everyone in this situation. If they're so afraid of the bandits in Peregrine, they probably wouldn't scoff at getting help from a friendly from the friendly city of Constance de Many, right? You're a capable lad, judging by how you infiltrated our bunker. Shrug your shoulders and continue listening. Go to Peregrin and ask and speak with Comrade whatever. He oversees coal shipments in our city. He can be found in the halls of the ship. They're set up for people to live in. Uh, tell him you're our representative. The old man gives you a friendly smile and straightens his cuffs of his expensive jacket. I'm sure attacks on the shipments will fall off when the bandits learn that Constance de Many has an official official interest in protecting them. Okay then, I'll go and uh And what do I get for my assistance? Don't worry. We can discuss your award later. Since this is a formal order from a Chambers of Commerce, you'll be paid handsomely. Just tell Thingy that you were sent. Do it, and you'll be providing a great service to this fine city. Okay then. Nice. We actually got a decent mission. And considering it's going to Paragon, you know, it's a place we haven't been to before, so why not go there? Right, let me check the time. We are good on time. And let's talk to the pig first. Oink. Oink. Oink, 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 oink. A middle-aged man walks around the room with an annoyed look on his face. From time to time, he stumbles upon a stumbles upon a pig, who gently, indifferently, and indifferently, and mumbles something under his breath. As he sees you, he snorts. What are you doing here? Answer and quickly. I'm having a oh. I'm having a terrible migraine. I have a terrible migraine. Mm. 
Oh, what is that pig doing in here? I'm sorry. Is this any of your business? If it... If it's here, that's where it should be. It is clear. Is our conversation over? Then please, do me a favour and leave my apartment before I call the guards. Wait, I just wanted to ask you some questions. No questioning. I'm telling you, I'm suffering from a migraine. Okay, I'll leave. Fine, fine, you know, we could have had a conversation and I could have been like, oh yeah, I actually have some strong painkillers here. Here you go. I know what it's like, buddy. Have have some have some strong painkillers and lie down. Go to sleep. When you awake, it will all be over. Right, so. Do I steal some more stuff? It's a good question. It's a reasonable question. Apples aren't worth much. You'd think they'd be worth more, but they're not. They'll take that. All of it. How are you doing on weight? Uh, okay, you're up. You're mm. ten, maybe. Uh, ooh, mm. three. Well, then another three should do it. Uh, no, he's still over encumbered by one. You. Look, people, we need to grab as much as we can, whilst we can. We can make as much money as we can, because... Uh, take, take them all, take them all. Oh, uh, can't carry any more? Five? Okay, you can carry five. And then I'll take them. Ah, oh, damn it, two over. Well, get rid of that. Uh, God damn it. Like, fair enough, matey is offering quite a lot of money if we you know, did take out all the carnival folk. I, I, I just... Does that put perception personality up? No, it doesn't. Um, it, um Not a bad idea. Not a um, amazing one, either. Uh, empty bottle. Why do I never have enough fucking inventory space? Uh, uh, two. One. Marvellous. Right. So, we, we, we have loaded up. We have as much, many goodies as we can carry. Let's get out of here and see if we can make some money. Well, this isn't good. I, I can't move my... So, I I'm not entirely sure. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It, sometimes it has these moments where I think, is it going to crash? So far, the game's never crashed, but that looked pretty close. So, 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 we now need to have, we now need to have a little think, because we have a number of quests that are over in Paragon. I know there's still things we need to do here, like there's this building that we haven't been in, and it's, it's quite a large one. Um... But I would really, um, um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I would really like to do some more quests. The talking's nice. I like the story, but oh, it's a wee bit much of time. So that's the cinema. We've been in this building here. And there's the hospital. Uh, we don't actually need to go there yet. 
I don't have any space to really... Uh, no, we haven't been in here before. Ah, oh, that means there's loot. Damn it. Okay, well... On thinking about it, we're going to leave. Because, this is my thinking, we can't carry anymore. So because we can't carry anymore, we need to find a merchant. All the merchants in this place suck. Is that right? Yeah, all the merchants in this place pretty much suck. I've still got... Four and a half thousand, that's kind of shitty as well. I think if we go to Paragon and we do the quest that do I go and get some better no no no. Um and we do the quest there. What we'll do is try and re equip ourselves because uh, I do need new armor. You know, I, I we're taking some serious damage from combat. A lot more than, than I was, you know, than I'd thought we would have taken. It's not, it's not been good. Uh, you have nothing. Nothing. So, yeah, I think if we go on a trek up to Peregrin, we... Sell off some sh some stuff along the way, hopefully. I might stop off at Oystanch the Many. Oystanch the Many. The little town. And unload some stuff. And, oh. Sorry, wind picked up. It's very, very hot today, so I have to keep my window open. So apologies if you hear anything in the background, like the wind blowing and kids screaming. Playing, you know, cars going by. Uh, so... When? What? When did this get discovered? Did I discover that? I don't remember discovering that. Hmm... Well, let's have a quick look at our obviously got one for Atom. Uh, we've got a mutant one to kill the giant spiders down there. They were quite hard though, so I'd like to get another weapon. We've got one for Peregrine. God, I'm going to have to run around and do that. As well. um, I agreed. Yep, we're looking for that one. A new gang village. I need to bring the head of the leader. Oh! Okay. Okay. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Oh, no. Hit the wrong button. So, how many Paragon missions have we got? We've got three. Four. So, yeah. No, hitting the wrong buttons. Um, So yeah, I'm just thinking which way would be, I suppose let's go up that way, let's not do those quests, other quests now and get too distracted, oh but they are closer, but I, I've got, I've got, I don't really have the, the uh, the inventory space to go and do, you know, combat, hmm, uh, walk past. So, quick save. Um, so yeah, what I'll probably do is I'm going to end the episode off here. If an interesting combat turns up, I'll bring you back. Please don't fight them. Uh, if not, if it's just boring, then you know we'll be in uh, Paragon. If I do find somewhere that I can... Bugger. 
Oh, I'd love to kill them. Book your way out. I, I would have really liked to have killed them. But we don't have the space to take anything. Damn it! Ah, the problems with loot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode as we cleared out... Uh... Oh, okay. Sure, I'll meet them. As we cleared out all the loot that we could get our greedy little hands on uh, within the bunker of the whatever the hell they were called. And I certainly hope that you are looking forward to future episodes to... Ah, ah, dribble. Dribble, 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 dribble. You have armor for my dog. Oh, look at his dodge. But you have armor for my dog. Oh, I must have it. I must. It'll be mine. How much do you pay for food? Oh. oh, wow. Not that much. Hang on. Am I being ripped off? A little bit. No, actually, quite a lot. Actually, quite a lot. Hmm. So, yes, thank you very much for uh, for watching this episode. I truly do hope that you've enjoyed it and are looking forward to the future episodes to come. Uh, where we will... That all? <laughs> Sadness. Uh, where we will see what... Um, bloody plane... What, what can be done with uh, the rest of our game? Will we get to... Jesus, that's loud. Will we get to Peregrine and find that the quests are quite simple and not too difficult? Will we get there and find out that everything is in the shit? Um, you'll have to tune in for the next episode. So, take care everyone, and as always, bye-bye for now.